been here recently. Be some way through. The tracks here are fresh. There must be another way inside the tomb. Must be behind here. Yeah, now. Again. Someone has taken great care of this chamber. My life was undone here. Yet now there's a shrine, a memorial where none should be. Could this be for Rutjek? 
None could care for that snake that began this twisted quest, could they? Project Zaro. I marked his name off my list with this. Now it sits on the ground, forgotten. I stabbed him. I mummified Heron. For resurrection? No. Whoever did this must have known of Rudjek's place in the Order. Rudjek does not deserve a tomb. But this is an insult. This tomb was made for a pharaoh. Whoever did this has defiled this place. This room has told me all I need to know. This place was a beginning for me and an end for Rudjek. The arrow marked both of those things. After I stabbed that bastard, things went dark. When I came back to myself, Rudjek was dead. Rudjek's body should have been left to rot. He has been laid to rest with respect by someone who wanted him to enter the Duat prepared. Whoever buried him also left this heron mummy to honor Rudjek with his God's damned namesake in the afterlife. They then returned here to pay respect to Rudjek. If these candles are any indication. No matter what, I know Rudjek's heart was found lacking. That bastard suffers in the afterlife. No matter what was done here. I will be judged one day. But I do not regret my actions. The feather will always be lighter than my heart. You are either very brave or very foolish, setting foot back here. Nefertari, isn't it? 
A thousand blessings are long overdue. No! Bastard! Naked ear that! That was Rujek's wife. Did you expect anything less? This way, Bayek. And bring along your thousand blessings. You will need them. I feel bad for her. But it had to be done. You look well. Better than the last time I found you. Are you just better at killing now? Rujek was only the beginning. Yes, your hunt. The heron. Where are you taking me? To make amends with Anubis. Amends? I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course. How could you? You left the moment you woke. You know all the natron for Egypt is collected here. We send it mostly to Memphis to cover the bodies of the dead. Bean, look at me. No, you're unwell. Uh, I am all right. You just spat up your meal and you... <laughs> Netron has other uses, though. I could use it to disinfect a wound. Or wash the stains of blood off my hands, for example. It looks better, Neb. I will have one of my aides bring something for the pain. And my brother? Recovering. He needs rest. You do not need to remind me. <gasps> Why are so many of your people ailing? Because Anubis is displeased. Ever since you left, the torches by his shrines have lost their flame. We are no longer protected. From what? The wrath of Anubis? Whatever it is, we have suffered grave injuries trying to reignite them. Some have even vanished. It has become clear that Anubis demands your appeal and yours alone. Mm. I'll ignite the torches and end this curse, or omen, or whatever it is. You would do well to, if you ever hope to appease Anubis and gain my pardon. Sophia, give some frankincense to the men at the pool, would you? I don't need to tell you to be careful. There are three shrines. One to the south, one atop the natural well, and one inside the bent pyramid. You know your way to that one. One of the torches of Anubis should be here. This torch has fallen over. Where's the head? Fence is broken. Was there a struggle? There is blood here. Someone fell or was pushed. The 
Atari was not exaggerating. This one died trying to light the torch. There's the torch head. It must have fallen from the ledge when the torch was tipped over. Jumps. This should do it. All I need to do now is light it. Gatekeeper of the Duat, I honor your name. Someone knowing predators here. Charms of Anubis. Someone has put these here, but why? Gatekeeper of the Duat. I honor your name. That was no simple task. There are other forces at work here. Move! Move! 
Do it! I will keep me safe! We must not fail! Gatekeeper of the Duat. I honor your name. That is the last touch. I should return to Nefertari.
What news do you bring? The torches burn with a relentless flame. Then I pray Anubis will grant us pardon. There were charms left beside each one. Does that mean anything to you? Beside the torches? Most likely to ward off the omen. I will keep my eyes open. In the meantime, some rebels nearby need treatment. I normally make the trips, but I am needed here. Sufia has offered to go in my place, but only if you escort her. It will be done. Bayek, I hope this hunt of yours ends soon. Before you cannot return from what you have become. Anju. Good to see you, Namrut. Nefertari sent reinforcements, I see. His name is Bayek, a dear friend of Nefertari's. I've asked him to come along and he graciously accepted. I suppose we all do. I hear you are in some trouble. I owe a favor to Nefertari. If it's as you say, follow me and stay close. We've got quite a journey ahead. The path to the mine was clear, but that doesn't mean it will be on the way back. Be ready for anything. You seem uneasy, Namrut. Why the hesitance? I don't like straying from the plan. These lands are teeming with dangers. Bandits, soldiers, the wild. It's why we make the trips at night. Helps avoid trouble. Where are you camped? In an abandoned fort to the west, our point of retreat. Retreat from what? An attack on a nearby encampment. There were more soldiers than we thought. Lost a lot of good men. How many wounded? Enough. That's why being close to the mine is so important. The healers work wonders. We are lucky Nefertari allows these deals. She has a pure heart, risks her neck. The mine belongs to the regime, after all. We should be out of harm's way once we cross that bridge. This is it. When we get inside, I will need your help to tend to the wounded while Sufia prepares the natron. 
I pray we have not lost them. I will set up. Bayek, follow Namrut. He will show you what to do. These men, move them to the rear by cold. the kilns. I am this so way, cold. We will line them up. It will be easier for Sufia. Your band is much smaller than I imagined. Small, but united. We fight for one another. I am merely one of them, spared by the gods this time. are severe, but they'll live if Sufia is anything like Nefertari. You and Nefertari are old friends. Something like that. She saved my life after I killed Rujek. You are the one that killed Rujek, huh? I cannot believe it. By the gods, the brazier, the fire will alert the regime. Spread out. They have found us. It is useless to fight. You are outmatched. Lay down your weapons, and we will make it quick. I would rather stick my sword down your throat. Those who oppose Tolerit reign, die. Those who fight me, die. This one fights alongside these rebels. A fool's choice. Sufia, she lit the brazier. Why would she no. draw the soldiers to Stay us? Stay away from me! Talk! The omens! It was you! Why? You check. I loved him! He promised me a better life! You took him from me! Now I see. You're Rujek's mistress. Well, your fucking lover killed my son. I feel nothing for you. You are meant to die. Ah! What a shame. Such a pretty girl. There's no room for pretty in our war. Death drives us to do things we regret. She tricked us both. Your men? The pile of dead gets bigger. We will treat the survivors. No time to fetch another healer.
Best in life? To seek justice and truth. To live with honor. To protect the weak and the poor. And to love your mother. My friend Kenan said it was to crush our enemies and to hear the lamentations of their women. We are Magi, son. Not barbarians.
deal with you? I'm worried about the children. Estella doesn't usually go adventuring for so long. She knows to be careful. And she'll bring Hetanu back on her. She always does. Agreed. Of course. But will she remember to bring herself back unharmed? I am more worried that the Pharaoh's killers might have caught them. Why can't the Pharaoh's soldiers just leave us alone? We refuse their rule. Neither they nor their supporters can suffer us to live. A false pharaoh is no true ruler of ours. Defiance is our... I'm afraid there won't be any of us left to show defiance at this rate.